Protecting Albertans, that's what Premier Danielle Smith says Bill 1 is all about. This legislation is designed to be a constitutional shield to protect Albertans from unconstitutional federal laws and policies that harm our province's economy or violate Alberta's provincial rights. Alberta sovereignty within a United Canada Act. That's the name of the bill tabled by Premier Smith yesterday. We need uh, the power to reset the relationship with Ottawa. That's what this is all about. We've, we've tried different things in the past and it hasn't worked. So we've got to try something new. And I must tell you, I believe it's already working. If passed, it would give her United Conservative Party or UCP special powers to disregard federal laws. I hope we never have to use this bill. I hope that we've sent a message to Ottawa that we will vigorously defend our constitutional areas of jurisdiction and they should just butt out. They should work collaboratively with us on areas where we have common cause and I, I, I'm hoping that we're beginning to see a change in that relationship. That's the reason you put forward a piece of legislation like this. The move drawing immediate attention to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and how he may respond. We know uh, that the exceptional powers uh, that the Premier is uh, choosing to give the Alberta government in bypassing the Alberta legislature is causing a lot of eyebrows to raise in Alberta. Uh, and uh, we're going to see how this plays out. Uh, I'm not going to take anything off the table, but I'm also not looking for a fight. Uh, we want to continue to be there to deliver for Albertans. Law professor at the University of Alberta, Eric Adams, says the bill should be strongly avoided. We we can disagree with a particular policy of a particular law, but but our, I think, obligation is to follow those laws, but vote for parties that uh, that will implement our preferences. I don't think it's open or a good idea for provinces across Canada to say, we get to pick and choose which federal laws will apply here. For example, uh, aspects of the criminal code. Do we really think it's appropriate for provinces to uh, inform or instruct their police forces to refuse to follow valid federal criminal law? Because again, that's what the Sovereignty Act is proposing. And if Alberta has that power, every province in Canada has that power. Smith is proposing to give her UCP government the power to change provincial laws behind closed doors without legislative debate and direct agencies not to enforce federal laws they oppose. There's just no justification that I could see that would say, let's take that, uh, that normal process, that legislative process of subjecting laws through three readings, through debate, through a debate in the legislature, scrutiny by uh, the media and by the public. And instead, let's hand that power over to uh, cabinet members working in the back room. I just don't see the rationale that would ever support such a maneuver. A question Albertans have raised, is Smith going to tell me I have to disobey a law? Quebec is also trending today alongside Alberta, with many linking the special privileges Quebec gets for its culture and heritage. Opposition NDP leader Rachel Notley calls Smith's approach a dangerous, full-throated power grab. Smith, on the other hand, is not worried about the feds shutting down the idea. I'm actually anticipating that this is going to start a very productive conversation with the federal level of government about our, our joint interests and how we can achieve them together. Smith making it clear, saying Ottawa is not our ruler, Ottawa is our partner.